You'll never guess what we're doing today, except that you saw the title and thumbnail. That's right, it's a scroller box unboxing. Here we go, let's get our sassy box up here in the corner and take everything out. Ooh, cute. Oh my gosh, Dookie Green? Is that a Dookie Green scroller box sticker? That's my sticker, that's my Dookie Green. Speaking of excited, we definitely have some watercolor paper, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to go ahead and stick a piece of paper right here for our, sw our swatching pleasure. And let's just get into it. Here is our list of supplies. But of course, we do have to start off with our candy. We have a Frutella Duo Stick. Let's just review that. Okay, so right away, uh, it looks like a worm. We got, we got a little worm, but also it's yellow. So I'm gonna guess like strawberry banana. Here we go. Quite an odd combination. I think this is supposed to be lemon and apple juice. Wait. Wait, is that lemon and soda? That does taste like soda. All right, well, we have a lemon soda worm candy. And there is my candy review. Let's get onto the art supplies. <laughs> okay, so I'm very excited. We do have a watercolor travel kit, but I do see this wonderful, well, it's called earth green yellowish, but you know, it's my dookie sap green. I'm very excited for that. We also have a Van Dyke Brown. These are the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils, which apparently I have been using a lot of lately. Very excited about this, I gotta say. So right away, I am noticing that there is no fine liner, which makes me so excited because I'm always looking for an excuse to use colored pencils for line art instead of a black pen. You might even say I was so excited that I completely forgot to show off the print of the month by our artist of the month. So for our travel watercolor set, we have the Daler Rowney Aquafine travel set and I am so excited to swatch these. I love just how small and sleek and thin this watercolor kit is. Let's open it up. Ooh, oh my gosh, wait, what? Oh, wait, hold up, we seem to have a, oh, a runaway there. Let's just stick you back in there. Look how tiny this little guy is. He's just a little guy. So something I've noticed about this watercolor travel kit compared to most is that we get a normal brush instead of a water brush that has water in the barrel. I do hate those brushes, but it does make it really convenient for traveling with. I'm always looking for, I guess, a perfect travel watercolor kit. I have yet to found one that I have considered to be very convenient and handy. I think the biggest concern when it comes to watercolor travel kits that you can buy is that a lot of them are very cheap and chalky. I don't like to sacrifice quality, I really don't. All of that being said, I really do feel like these watercolors are less on the chalky side. I think when it comes to darker colors, you do run that risk. They activated really juicy. <laughs> they just felt very buttery and smooth and I like that. They didn't feel chalky. But this was just the swatching of the colors. We will really start to get a feel for them when we illustrate something. Also, it looks like you can pop out the color portion to extend your color mixing, which is so cool. Not only that, but all of your colors are in the back and you can just pop them out. And I can only imagine you can buy replacements for them. So that that's really cool. And I feel like something you do not see in a travel watercolor kit. Okay, I'm getting really anxious to watercolor, but let's look at the rest of our supplies. Next up we have the Stadler Norris Erasable Colored Pencil. And that's really fun because as I said before, I don't sketch with colors. So I'm really interested to see how that goes. I always use just a regular black graphite pencil. I thought so. It seems like with these colored pencils, because you are doing, I guess, sketching, you'll probably be using it pretty lightly. The lighter ones do erase better, but I would be careful about how hard you press down because it does ghost a little bit. Last but not least, of course, aside from our paper, which was the Langton Prestige Watercolor Paper 300 GSM. Cold pressed because it is very textured. We do have a Uni Pasca ultra fine marker pen, which as you guys know, I am very familiar with. I've made a few Posca pen 
tip videos. Let's just get this little guy pumped and ready to be used. It'll be hard to tell if it's actually ready to be used because it's white and the tip is white. You know, let's just run a line through the watercolor and see what's up. Ooh, it looks really cool in the darker colors. All right, let's see what our theme of the month is. We have summer flourish. Ooh, that's what all the flowers were about, huh? All right, let's get to sketching and create something. All right, so summer flourish. Um, I, I'm not really feeling inspired by that, so we're just gonna wing it as I do when I make mistakes. I guess flowers are the name of the game this time around. The summer's great and all, but what if, I mean, you know where it's summer 24 seven? Uh, uh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> That's right, a desert, I, I remembered. So it's like, it's a desert all the time and there's flowers and it's pretty, right? Maybe? All right, well, I don't know what this is, but oh, there's a girl holding the frame of a flower and um, yeah, she's just hanging out. Kind of boring, but we've got four others to sketch. What if I drew, let's make it a guy because I never draw guys. I did have a prompt where I drew someone turning into a cactus. What if this guy was pretending to be a cactus? I could like dress him as the color so he could have like khaki pants on to be the pot. And then he could wear like a sweater that was fuzzy, but the green and the needles made it look like a cactus. <laughs> and then maybe he was wearing like a beanie, like a tall round beanie. So again, a cactus and I could put a flower on it <laughs> That's actually kind of silly. I think so far I like this idea more than the girl, but we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. I was thinking about, actually let me sharpen my pencil. I'm such a hard presser. What if someone had, wow, how do you draw a flower? I was gonna say, what if someone had um, a flower for eyes? That'd be spooky. And what if she was naked? You know we out here drawing nudes 24-7. <laughs> that one's fun. I mean, I think it's more fun than just like a, a girl. I want to draw someone with like flower for hair, like flowers for hair or vines or something. I did that a long time ago, but it didn't look good because I used like a really cheap watercolor travel kit. And it was really chalky. What if we had a flower? And someone was, um, someone was sprouting out of it or something. I don't know. Heck, let's make it a man. Why not, right? <laughs> oh gosh, I actually like that one. Oh, this is going to be hard. Okay, let's put a little uh, blue star next to the ones I was thinking about doing. So I really like this one because it's silly. Um, this one's pretty cool too, and then this one's silly as well. So those are the three I was thinking about. I have to make a decision. It's gonna be hard, huh? Whew. Okay, let me think about this for a minute, and then I will be back and we'll start our drawing. Which one are we gonna do? We're gonna find out. So I did decide to go with the girl with these, the flower eyes, and I googled it. It's not an original idea, and I had a feeling that I'd seen something like that before, but you know, nothing wrong with being basic every once in a while, so I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, it's gonna be so hard not to press down really hard when sketching this, but um, I, think, I think it'll be okay. I mean, I'm kind of going for a looser watercolor style. I'm definitely not going for as controlled of an illustration that I normally go for. So I'm not concerned, I guess, with that aspect. Also, super not centered. Let me just fix that. Okay, so this is the center. 
and that is not centered. So instead of showing her cleavage being covered up by her hair, I thought I would do a combination of like a flower thing down here and then I can also have flower eyes. So, you know, we're just gonna do a combination of things. It's gonna be different from my usual cause I don't normally draw flowery things and stuff, but you know, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun. So what I love about these mystery art supply boxes is that I usually end up doing something different than usual and playing around with style and, you know, doing something that I, I don't normally do. Wait, why am I using my own eraser? It came with an eraser. Yeah, goof. Ooh, what if I did some dark skin and gave them like white flowers? That would actually be pretty cool. Actually, I think I am going to do that. I was originally going to do roses or something, but I think doing a dark skinned person, especially because I'm probably going to be keeping the paper white. White eyes would also kind of look like eyes, which might be kind of creepy. Earlier, I was trying to give her vine hair, but I didn't think it was working out. But honestly, at this point, I think I could give her vine hair. I don't think she has enough forehead is the problem. Her, the top of her head is way too short. Like, where's her brain? Let's just raise her head up a little bit because she definitely doesn't have a brain with how short that hair was. There we go, that looks a lot better. This is it's a little different than what I normally do, but I guess that's fine. Okay, I'm going to lighten up this red pencil because I'm afraid it's gonna be a very red image. Hopefully, um, I'll use some dark skin tones and some dark greens to cover up most of the red. I was thinking about using the red pencil to outline her skin and stuff and that would also help with the fact that you can probably end up seeing a lot of it, but I think I do want to do a dark skin tone. We have so many browns, we might as well, and um, maybe help those white flowers of her eyes pop. And hopefully the red of the pencil will disappear a little bit with all these dark colors. So hopefully, um, I'm scared, but uh, here we go. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Let's just, let's just do it. Okay, so I definitely saturated her skin way too dark. I kind of did mean to make it just a little lighter, but that's fine, you know? We're, we're gonna work around it, it's gonna be... It's gonna be great. It's a good thing that these watercolors aren't too chalky because usually some of the cheaper travel watercolor kits, if you make the, well, I don't know, even if you don't make them too thick, they don't look great. But I'm feeling pretty confident about this right now. So uh, no worries yet. We'll see. I almost feel like I'm using this as if it's gouache. It's just so thick and saturated with color, which again, I, I didn't mean to do that. That was, a, that was a whoopsie, but that's fine. It's turning out cute so far. So we're going to just do little circles for flowers. Oh, I really like that. That's really cute. All right, so I colored over all of the details and now I hope I can do that flower because I don't know where each petal area was going to be so now I'm very nervous about uh, coloring that in. So great! <laughs> Good luck to me, I guess. I can't wait to mess this illustration up somehow. Oh gosh. Something horrible is going to happen. I can just feel it. So the green, like I said, isn't quite as dooky as I want it to be but I'm really liking all of the colors, like the pink and the green and the brown all together. It looks really nice. Wow. So, uh, what am I gonna do to mess this up? <laughs> her body ended up a different color than her head. <laughs> I think some colors mixed in together. That's okay. Okay, let's go back and try to give her blushes again because that still didn't really turn out. I've gone quiet. I don't really know what to say. I'm shading her. So, oh my God, is this not dry? I'm glad I started talking right when disaster hits. Oh my gosh, why? 
All right, time to continue to mess up whatever this flower is. I don't even know what I was drawing with this flower, but it's become this, so I don't even know. <laughs> I kind of want to give her freckles. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Freckles? Nah? Yes? Nah? It's hard to get a really small dot because this brush isn't the smallest brush, I guess. All right, I think everything is dry. It is time to outline with our pencil. I was going to use the green pencil to outline her hair, but to be honest, the green is just so different. I don't, I don't think it's gonna look right. I, I really, I really do want to play around with using colored pencils to outline my things because it just makes them, it's just cool to outline with the same color and it just has this softness to it. I really like her lips, they're cute. Okay, so the flower is going to be scribbled. This is probably gonna make her look insane, but I think I like it. They don't really look like flowers, but I had fun with them. I just don't think I put enough like shading detail into them. That's okay. They definitely resemble flowers, I think. <laughs> this is simple and cute. I like it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try to use the green pencil. So I know I want to add stuff for these guys. I'm just not sure if this, this green really doesn't look dark enough to outline the hair and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm actually, I'm just gonna use the brown. All right, I think I'm actually going to leave the vine down here unlined just because I feel like I like it that way. So I'm going to add needles to it and to her hair. And then I guess, I guess I'm done. I've been calling her hair vines this whole time, but honestly, they're starting to look like little cacti, just like coming off of her head or something. It's kind of silly. All right, is that it? Did I forget anything? So this doesn't seem like anything super different from my normal style, but I do feel like there's some extra details and I don't know, I, I like it. I like it. She's pretty cute. It kind of looks like she's wearing sunglasses or something, but I like her. I think she turned out really cute and this was fun. All right, if you want your own Scroller Box monthly art subscription box, check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching and oh, stay golden. And now a huge thank you to my wonderful patrons for all of their support. You guys are the best. If you want to be in the credits at the end of my videos, see secret sketches, coloring pages, early access, and more, check out my Patreon by clicking the link in the description. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Bye. Oh my gosh, you guys, I did that thing where I forgot about an art supply. Let's just add some shiny lip marks to her. There you go. I didn't forget about an art supply. What are you talking about?